Hey everyone, Summer here with the Starry Ascent, and I am so excited to show you what we are making today. I had such a blast making these fairy star ornaments. Oh my goodness, I am so in love with them. I did them two different ways, um, and the paint that I used to give it that glitter frosted effect is that really glitterific. <laughs> folk art paint that I like so much and put on just about everything. Isn't that just the cutest thing ever? And it looks so pretty on the tree guys. It's like all sorts of sparkly. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. So this one right here is a much thinner one. Um, the one you get to see me make is this one. It's the very first one I did. Um, and I, I don't I like it a lot, but it came out a lot thicker than what I wanted. I like really dainty looking stuff. Um, so it's really about preference. I do like this one. It just, um, I want them to be a little bit like thinner, I guess. So then I did it this way instead and I kind of split my twine apart to get this. Um, so yeah, so I like them both ways, but I prefer this one right here. This is the one you're getting ready to watch me make. So I hope you enjoy the video and if you make stars, please, 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 please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your fairy stars. Have a very great day, everybody. So here's everything you're going to need. You're going to need some Elmer's glue. You're going to need some water. You're going to need something to put the water and Elmer's glue in. You're going to need twine and you're going to need whatever pattern you want. So if you want the fairy star, I just printed it out and then I'm using a cardboard box, a shipping box, poking holes where I want the clothes or not the, the um, pins to go. Um, a cork board and nails would have been better, but I didn't have that on hand. I had cardboard and thumbtacks, so that's what I used. Um, I didn't do any measurements on this. I just kind of eyeballed it. This is the first time I'm doing it. I had no idea how much I was supposed to put in or anything like that. So I just mixed up a little bit of water with the glue until it felt like a thick but not super thick consistency. And I know that's not super helpful, but that's exactly what I did. <laughs> So interestingly enough, this is a way messier process than I anticipated and my twine kept getting all tangled up so it takes me just a minute to actually undo it. But while you're waiting for me to undo it, let's just talk about this twine here because um, one of the cool things about doing uh, these little kind of ornaments is you can add your own um, not magic to them or spell magic like the star magic, like if you were to draw like a pentagram and say your words over it, you can do that. You can even draw your, you know, put your thumbtacks in a sigil and create your own sigil uh, ornament out of it for protection or whatever, or for somebody else. And these are so pretty that even though somebody else may not practice, if you just wanted to give them a really neat gift that has a lot of your energy and intent of goodwill in it, you can still do the spell magic while you are doing the twine on the star or whatever it is you make to give it that special effect that they won't even know about. It, there's no way for them to know other than just you. So I thought that was a really cool uh, way that this could be added to any kind of spells or energy work people are doing. And now we just have to make sure that it dries and uh, it takes a while to dry. So once it's completely dry, we come back and take it off. 
And now we get to take everything off. It dries pretty hard. I probably should have put something down on. I meant to put some plastic stuff down before I glued, but I forgot. And so now it's going to take a minute to come off the cardboard. I was very lucky that it did not break on me. So uh, use saran wrap, parchment paper, something like that if you're using cardboard, cork, anything that it, the glue could get stuck to in any way. But here it is. It looks pretty cool. And... The only other section that we're going to do is we're just going to wrap the twine around it um, like you would any other twine star. Uh, I'm pulling my pieces apart because it's so thick and, I, and the stars are the star is little. I didn't want it to be that thick and, and the outside is already super thick. So I'm trying to tear it apart um, into two pieces, which I finally do get. But in all, uh, I think you can add anything you want to this. like. You can add beads to it, you can add crystals to it, you can add your own kind of paints to it, not just spells, but you know, anything that really represents the Yule season for you or fairies or anything like that. And so I hope you guys have really enjoyed this. I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of this in peace. Have a very great evening.